Hey birds, this is what happened, but you weren't here so you missed it. Anything good? <laughs> Any sales today? Oh, things are kind of cheap. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. It's one of my mother's old jokes. Hey honey, do you know what time it is? It's shopping trip highlights time! Aren't you excited? Me too. <sighs> I was so lucky today. My husband came shopping with me. And I like that because he keeps me from buying too much stuff that I don't need. <laughs> but we still... I was not planning like on buying a lot of stuff today, but it seems like a lot. But it's a lot of stock up stuff and we had bought some stuff for Maddie's birthday to send her too. Which I'm not going to show you because I want her to be surprised. Oh, so let me put that away. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's start over here with the cereal. Yes, you see four giant boxes of cereal here and I bought like two last week. I thought at $5.49 for the two pack it was a pretty good deal. <laughs> Bless you. But for $3.84 for the two pack, that's cray cray. So that was at Target. Target, um, the bodega stuff I guess, the grocery part was all marked down. Almost everything. Um, yeah. <laughs> Gum, you know that's my favorite. Chicken breast in a can. This is a good compromise at our house because, as you know, if you watch, I'm vegetarian and most of the rest of my family is not. They're partial vegetarians, so instead of cooking like two separate meals all the time, it's nice to have just like a can of something or something in the freezer that's frozen that they could just add to whatever I'm making to make it not vegetarian for them. So this is really convenient. And this was like $10 for five cans. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Always gotta get the pesto. This is for Kristen. She is a huge fan of Leslie Sansone. And I think she said this is the new one that just came out. $8.98. That's pretty good for a five mile challenge DVD. You know I love the Morning Star meal starters. I wish I could send those in a package to Maddie. I don't know what the price is up where she is. The Lara bars. Originally $8. Remember I thought that was a good deal? Because that's what I pay in the supermarket, a dollar a bar. Five sixty dollars for 8 And good flavors, too. Not like the crummy flavors. These are peanut butter cookie, cashew cookie. And that's chocolate chip cookie dough and peanut butter chocolate. Chip. <laughs> and remember last week I got the um, stuff for the dishwasher? I thought $12 was great. Well, $8.38 for the three packs of that. That's insane. I wanted to fill up the whole cart with it, but I didn't have the money this week. <laughs> uh, I also got these last week and they're still remaining on sale. They had pretty good stock of these. The um, Natural Home. Uh, cooking implements a dollar forty two for each of those I think last week I paid a dollar seventy four so or something like I it was a little bit more last week but a dollar forty two and I that's what I used to make the fried rice last night and I really like it I have to say it's a very good uh, cooking utensil this I've had my eye on for a while actually the one that I really wanted was Michael Kors and that was at um, TJ Maxx. It wasn't exactly like this, but it was one of those barrel bags like this. And yeah, the Michael Kors one was $150. I'll settle for the funky um, Target one for $17 <laughs> as opposed to $150. I think my husband would probably draw up the papers. Nah, he wouldn't. He'd make me take it back though. Uh, this is my guilty pleasure, peanut butter pretzels. I haven't had them in years, and I just so happened to see they were point of sale-ish. So, yeah. <laughs> Avocados, mushrooms, fingers, toes, potatoes as we call them, or as you guys would call them, fingerlings. I'm trying to eat more healthy. Do you see the theme here of the veggies and like no junk food pretty much? More of those English peas that are raw from Sam's Club. They were only $3 for the two-pack. And very healthy, full of vitamins and all. Love me some rye bread. Uh, the Atlantic Salmon. This is another one of those things that it already comes in a portioned out section. So it's easy to just throw that on the George Foreman grill or something like that. For whoever wants meat with whatever I'm cooking. Got my Vidalia onions. It's a staple. you got to have those. 
Uh, we Instead of the Baby Swiss, we switched it up this week and went with the Provolone. A whole case of Chobani because uh, I'm not ready to buy the Oikos yet, although I really do enjoy it. Not everyone's on the Oikos uh, train. Lots of eggs because I just realized that three dozen eggs at Sam's Club is only 40 cents more than 18 eggs. So why not get three dozen? I think you can actually freeze them, crack them into, um, I guess like an ice tray or something, and you could probably just freeze them, which would really be convenient. Uh, super duper bargain. These are like Under Armour, you know, like running tights. Two dollars at Sam's Club, because they were on like the loose section. Oh yes, Pirate's Booty's hiding in there. Then I got this super duper Cookie Monster robe in brown for Sean. Oh, it is so luxurious. It's like they took two blankets, two fleece blankets, and sewed it up into a robe. Eleven dollars. Unbelievable. That was like 70% off. That was crazy. No, it couldn't be 70% off. It was like 50% off. Uh, my Diet Cranberry Juice. I freaking love that stuff. What else did I forget over here? I think, did I get everything? Oh my. Sean! You're showing off your new robe. It looks so luxurious. Nice. Is that going to keep you toasty warm? You're like a not disgusting Hugh Hefner. <laughs> Do you like it? Pet yourself, Sean. Good. Say, ooh, this is nice. Good? Good. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's dinner time. And I'm bored of the same things all the time. So tonight we're having pasta. We're having some beautiful Tritoli organic uh, pasta from ShopRite that I got for 99 cents a pound. We're going to have two pounds of that. And I'm just tired of the same old stuff all the time. You know, spinach and pesto and blah. So let's have something a little bit different tonight. This is really going to be simple. And I think you're really going to like it. I'm going to make it vegetarian. But you can make it vegetarian. <laughs> because the thing that's going to taste a little bit like meat is the eggplant. So what I'm going to... Well, first let me show you the ingredients. Just like a couple of tablespoons of pesto. A nice big Vidalia onion, one zu now, I, why do I keep calling these zucchini? One eggplant, one jar of pasta sauce, some chopped garlic, and some mushrooms. So the first thing we're going to do is peel the eggplant and, and dice it pretty much. Well, a little bit bigger than dice, is chunk it. And the onion, we're going to peel that and just slice that however you want to and we're going to get that in the pan. Alright, so there's my beautiful Vidalia onion and I neglected to tell you guys to saute it in extra virgin olive oil. I know that you're really smart and you realize that you just can't do Italian food without extra virgin olive oil. So I probably was just like, oh, I'm assuming that they're so smart and they know just in case you're not that smart, but I know you are, extra virgin olive oil, or any olive oil, or any oil that you want to use. doesn't really matter, but for Italian, I like extra virgin because it gives like that Italian flavor. All right, so I decided to slice my eggplant in slices, and then I stacked them up and I cut them like this, so they're almost like little strips of meat in the sauce. So I'm going to add those to the pan next. All right, so now you can see that the eggplant is in there and cooking for, I don't know, probably about 10 minutes. It's starting to cook down. It's starting to get a little bit discolored. It looks a little dry in there, but that's okay. Don't add more olive oil because eggplant is like a sponge. It will soak up as much olive oil as you put in there or any kind of oil. And you don't want that. You want to keep this healthy so that, you know, you can eat a lot of it. You don't want it to be soaked with oil because it's not going to taste good either. So, when it gets to this stage, when it just is starting to get a little bit brown, and by the way, um, I peel the zucchini, the zucchini, again calling it zucchini, I peel the eggplant, maybe, maybe they're onto something, maybe this blonde is affecting me, <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, um, I peeled it because the skin is always the last to cook on the uh, eggplant, and it can get a little bit bitter if you leave it on, and you don't want to taste skin on it, so just trust me, peel it. But it, again, if you don't want to, you don't have to, or if you're lazy. But it's not going to be as good as if you peel it. 
So I'm going to add some mushrooms, probably about a cup of mushrooms. And if I were using fresh garlic, I would probably use about four or five cloves of it. And I do it in the garlic press. Um, I like a lot of garlic, so I'm going to add a lot of garlic. Probably like a quarter of a cup of the chopped garlic because I like it. Now, don't add the if you like a lot of garlic flavor, don't add the garlic when you do the onions. You add it later, you know, when you add the mushrooms so that it doesn't cook as much and you're not like robbing the flavor too much. So now I'm going to put in the mushrooms and the garlic. All right, sauce check. I've got the mushrooms and the garlic in there and I'm not going to let that cook too long, probably about four or five minutes. And then it comes time to add the pesto and the sauce. So I'm going to probably add about a quarter of a cup of the pesto and this whole jar of the pre-made pasta sauce. Um, after you put those two sauces in there, I wouldn't let it uh, cook more than to just get it up to um, the same temperature. So like just heat up the sauces, but don't actually like cook it. And then when that's done, just turn off the flame and let that sit while you boil your water for your pasta. Now the reason you see me use pesto a lot and that I like to use it is because I really like this brand of pesto. The flavoring and the spices are what, so you know, it's like what I think of as Italian. So instead of me trying to duplicate that every time I start cooking Italian, it's so much easier just to use a little bit of the pesto because the seasoning's already exactly the way I want it. So it's really more of just a shortcut. And now I want you to make sure that when this is, um, you're bringing this up to temperature that you keep stirring it because, did you ever notice when you open up a can of soup and you put it in the pot and it's like, oh, it's bubbling, it's ready. No, only the bottom part is what's bubbling and the top part is still cold. Like, see, you see here, you have like a little geyser coming out of steam. That's just because this is like um, one solid thing over it. You have to keep stirring it so that the heat gets evenly distributed throughout the whole thing. Otherwise, there's going to be cold spots and hot spots. And chances are it's probably going to burn too. So make sure that you keep stirring that so that it gets to a nice even temperature. All right guys, so I just cooked my pasta according to package directions to El Dante. Al Dante, is that it? Yeah, that's how you dente. say it. Dente. Al Dente. Who is this Al anyway? Last name Dente. All right, so I didn't reheat up the sauce because the hotness of the pasta is good enough for me to uh, bring the sauce back up to temperature and it's not like I put it in the fridge in between or anything but certainly if you want to reheat your sauce go right ahead. I'm gonna mix this all together and then we're gonna serve it up and we're gonna see what Big Daddy thinks. Alright here's my willing victim. I served it with a little uh, Parmesan Romano cheese on the top and tell me what you think honey. It's not that hot because I didn't reheat the sauce. It's delicious. <laughs> Is it? You like it? it it's a wonderful. <laughs> yes, Sean. Thank Out you. Of school. It's a wonderful. <laughs> Homer says, "Where's my no, supper, that was peeps?" That was All right, honey, you don't have to eat your whole dinner right here. Let's uh, let's call it a day. Till next time. Cat love.